Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, for those that missed it, I did a live stream Lego build last night. Um, just, just out of the blue. Just wanted to just sit and have a chat with some folks while I was uh, building a Lego set. So uh, this is this is what I built. So I just wanted to do a quick overview. Um, is Lego set 20, 75 299 Trouble on Tatooine, uh, based on Chapter 9 of The Mandalorian, first episode of Season 2. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool set. Um, I did sort of say during the stream that I probably think uh, a little bit more could have gone into the set for the price. Um, maybe a Cobb Vanth minifigure or Cobb Vanth and his speeder. Uh, maybe extra Tuscan Raider or two would have been cool. Um, but it's alright, I've got plenty of Tuscans, so uh, on the side there we've got the uh, new Beskar Mando figure. On the back, some of the play features and stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd give it a quick look. Um, now from memory, the uh, book, the instruction book came out at 56 pages. Uh, of instructions and then sort of going over the other sets they are currently out or not far from being out so yeah we'll start with the little Tuscan Raider heart here this thing's kind of cool got little Tuscan Raider seeing out the front definitely gonna need to grab another one for this so yeah, it does does open up like so Keep it nice and nice and condensed like that. It looks kind of cool. A little bone on the in the pot there. It's uh, Ed Five. My followers suggested it was bone broth. And I thought that was absolutely genius because I didn't come up with that myself. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I like the I do like the Tuscan Raider mini figs. They've got the coolest little head sculpt. I love that so much. So now we get the uh, the big Tuscan cannon. So the big, I can't think of what they're called. Um, you know, the big rope slinging things. I'm, I'm forgetting the uh, proper name for them. Um, I wanted to say trebuchet, but I know it's not. Um, but yeah, forgive me for, for that, because I'm not 100% sure. But it's cool. Um, I, this is a cool little fun build. Uh, I don't often put the uh, flick missile things on them, but for this one it kind of works. I may just get a uh, brown brown flat brick and put that over the top or something, just to just so it blends with the rest of it. Just, yeah, the sort of two tone sort of grey flick missile thing isn't isn't the best. Legs down the bottom. So I'm not sure why they put the uh, clear brick on there. I, because it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's not bad. That's kind of cool. But, uh, here we go. We got Mando and his speeder. This was quite a fun little build. A little Grogu there. That's what everyone's here for, isn't it? Look at him sitting in the bag. Wind blowing through his ears. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, see, there's Mando. On the speeder, let's pop him off. He does have his uh, weapons there, sort of just attached to the side. His pulse rifle and his pistol. Uh, I did sort of say as well on the stream that I do have the uh, brick arms uh, pulse rifle, and they look a lot better. So I'll probably display them with this one. This is a great Mando minifigure. So this is the first time we're getting him in Beskar. Arm printing is fantastic. The little whistling birds launcher there on his on his wrist. Yeah, love that printing. Love the little mud horn there too. That is so cool. Printing on the back, which is always which is always nice. Printing on the legs. Just a cool cool figure of uh, Mando. Still got the black head. I imagine we'll get a uh, unmasked Din Djarin at some point soon as well. But yeah, not a bad little set. Um, 
The prices here in Australia are sort of anywhere between $39 to $49 depending on where you shop. Uh, Kmart I think was the cheapest at $39 and uh, yeah I think Zingpot Culture had it for $49 so a little bit up there for Zingpot Culture but um, yeah definitely try and track it down at Kmart if you can because that's uh, the best spot. I assume Big W's and stuff will probably have it as well uh, if you're down here in Australia. Yeah, so that's a cool set. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm not a big Lego person anymore. I've uh, sort of scaled back my Lego collecting, but it's nice to cool, get a cool little set like this every now and then. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, recommend jumping onto my page and checking out my little memberships thing that I have going. Um, may take your interest if, you're into, if you dig what I do on my channel. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.